I, I don't I don't want to annoy people. I mean, is is it the the cute sneeze like the like the girls have, or is it the manly sneeze? It's like, <gasps> like oh, that's I don't want to hear that then. <sighs> Super Saiyan, yeah, Dragon right. Ball. Uh, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on getting a program for bets for the future in-house games we host, cause uh, you know. Betting? We won't always have those little uh, team icons for spectator matches, but for when we do, like times like now, I would love for you guys to be able to vote on uh, Counters Honeys or Willie's uh, people, or which, however we adjust it in the future. But uh, it'd be a fun thing for the viewers to do, because I, I know I've done it before, where like, you flex points as you watch the stream, and then you bet those and what have you. Or you can just vote. Just see who you want to win. Virtual bets. Hopefully. Yeah, you, you can collect... Um, I, I can't think of like a Peter Gomez currency, but we'll, we'll think of something. <laughs> Peter Gomez currency, oh my god. Uh, invite Kush McGrady. Kush Kush. Kush Kush. Is that what you said? Uh, Kush Kush? Kush Kush. Oh man. Yeah. You, uh, you know my favorite meme. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a meme? And now, like, oh, well, yeah. it, it kind of was actually, like, Six years, like literally, like six years ago. No joke. I mean, I even made a video way back then. Those existed. Yes, Those existed six years ago. Yes. Oh my yep. god. I was twelve. I was twelve six years yeah, ago. Man. I'm I'm 22. I'm. I mean, we're not. You know, that's not a huge difference, but that's that's a pretty I'm, big difference in culture, at least. Internet culture, yeah, at least. I, I'm I'm turning 19 in uh, a week. Hey man, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry, man. We're still some military heads, so whatever. You're damn right. Damn I bet right. you I can I, I can out shoot you. Oh, oh, you nope. wanna go. You wanna That's go. a challenge. That's a challenge. That a challenge. Well, if you can outshoot me, the, the next question is can you outrun, out push up, and out sit up me? I can probably do once one uh, one push up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't run. I'm like I'm like a I'm like a Gragas, alright? Not really, I'm just I I have no condition. That's all good man. Yeah. I'm a wrecker. I'm, I'm, honest, I'm honestly not even a very good shot, so you know, I'm in the military, so I have to meet the military standard, which I do, but um, I'm still not, like, an incredible shot. Yeah, I'm like a marksman, basically. I, I use those rifles. For yeah. Those long shots. The, the, it, these rifles have been recycled since World War One, so. <laughs> really? Well, sometimes. Depends where you go. Like, we're... Oh, my God. They're the current, like, the main model of the M16 that's supposed to be used is uh, the M16A4. Sometimes mm -hmm. you run into A2s. Actually, more often than not, you run into the A2s. These are recycled from World War One. That's pretty dope, though. Hey, man. Yeah, you know, as long as you clean your weapon, I mean, you'll, you'll usually get, like, jams and shit all the time, but mm -hmm. we're, we're trained to know how to do it anyway, you know, to fix it anyway, so. It's all good. It's all good. The military's not all that bad. Except it is, and I would never recommend it to anyone else. <laughs> the, pay, the pay's bad. All right. Oh, the pay is bad, but the pay off for, like, what, dude, when I get out, I'm making six figures, guaranteed. Six Promise you. And how long, how long do you stay there? Uh, well, it depends on your contract. Because uh, my contract for my job, because I'm 25 Bravo IT specialist. Um, oh, you're IT. I am IT. I'm a super nerd, man. I love my super job. Nerd. I love IT, all right? This is my passion. And, uh, ugh, excuse me. Um, once I get out, not only am I going to have certs, because uh, I already have Security Plus, and there's no real reason to go back to get A Plus or Net Plus at this point, um, but not only am I going to have certifications, but I'm going to have my bachelor's degree. Fully paid for it. Oh, no oh you're, doing, you're doing the college Think thing. Think about that. Think about I like that. that. Yep. I'm actually starting it like next week. I'm going into uh, computer science. Not computer science. Um. <sighs> yeah, it is computer science. I'm thinking. I was trying to get some other Yeah. <laughs> yeah, computer science. Uh, my main pro priority is going through programming. Because that's mainly what this, this bachelor's is offering. A shit ton of programming and a lot of math. Which is pretty much computer science in a nutshell. Yeah. I don't like computer programming. I just, I took that one time in high school, and then grade 12, and I just did not enjoy it. Are uh, you looking to become an IT specialist in the military, or just like, you know, like a computer technician IT specialist sort of thing? Uh, I haven't learned any programming languages proficiently. Um, and I know, like, I, I, just, I, I, don't, I bring this up because it's not really a, a programming language. It's, a, it's more like coding. But I know HTML and CSS very well. I can make a web page pretty damn oh, easy. Same here, same here. It's easy stuff, man. Like it's it it's, is. it's fun though. It's good. Um, Body, like you do. You do and this. Uh, what I make right now, or the other language that I've been learning, 
uh, which is going to be like kind of my start uh, kickoff program. Uh, programming language is Python. I'm learning Python. Um, and you do. And uh, if you're going into the counter and terrorist stuff, trust me, you need a high GT score for that. You need to score high on your ASVAB to get that shit. That's one of the highest scoring requirements for uh, IT jobs. If you're you going to go for that, man. Counter terrorist? Uh, if you're going to go like counterintelligence, like, because there is a cryptanalysis MOS where mm. you pretty much fucking decrypt. <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> you're you're looking at their network. You're a hacker. You're, you're quote unquote no. It, it, there, I mean, there is a hacking MOS, but SQL is okay if you're going into, if you're wanting to stay into the IT field. Yes, uh, but that's if you're wanting to stay in IT. Like, just want to emphasize that. It, like, if you want to be working and repairing computers and fixing people's problems, kind of more or less being the bitch of an organization, because you're going to be working with it on SQL servers, and it's just a very useful language in general, and it's very easy actually in syntax as well. But outside of the IT world, it's really not a humongous use. You definitely want to start, if you're going to be going into programming, don't start with SQL. It's not something I would recommend. That's more for, obviously it's got its own servers and everything because it's made for databases. And it's very good at organizing and uh, formatting statistics and numbers and data and mining data and lots of delicious stuff. But, um... You lost me at like SK, SQ or whatever. Some people call it, <laughs> SQ, I call it SQL. Some people pronounce it and call it SQL. I, I, I think that's stupid, but it's it's whatever. It's a thing. It's like short term. It's not going away anytime soon, so. Hmm. Oh, no, man. I'm, I'm in the IT field, dude. I'm in this field, man. I did this, well, I didn't do this before the army, but I got trained in it before the army at a vocational school. <sighs> I, I go way back, dude. But way back. I love the IT field though, man. Love it. I love it. I love fish dicks. And uh, to anyone else watching the stream, I, I hope you don't mind my nerdy uh, gasms right now talking to the other people in the chat room, as you can see as well. But uh, if you do, please tell me if I'm oppressing you in your non-nerdy fashions. Because I will you. stop, alright? We, uh, I hope I'm not annoying you, above all else, but, um... I mean, yeah. keep the commentary going, I mean, keep the show going. It's interesting. Yeah, but the show must go on. And, must um, go on. Yeah, the IT field is great, man. Um, if you ever choose to go into the army, you do make bank. Uh, but maybe not, not really initially. The biggest problem is... <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up, balloons. <laughs> um... The biggest problem is that experience always takes priority. Oh, maybe it's just in this specific field. It's not in every field, but it always takes priority over anything. If someone has 20 years of experience and they don't have any certifications, and you have like five ex certifications, like Security Plus, CISSP, uh, CASP, fucking A Plus, N Plus, like everything, it doesn't matter. They will take the person with the years of experience over you any day. And that, that's the that's the hard part about the IT field, but you can always start somewhere. There are there's always the the, the boring stupid jobs like Best Buy and Geek Squad. Um, I love those Geek Squad. Yep, I'll, I'll pay you, <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't even want to bring. I'm not even gonna get triggered right now and talk about them, but um, it's always an opportunity at least to get get yourself experience. That's what it, I do appreciate about the company, to say the least. But. Um, if you're ever going to look into going into the army for uh, for the IT stuff, 25 Bravo, I want to say, is definitely my prized MOS. You're lucky if you do get the bright MOS on the first try. A lot of people hate their jobs. I am 100% content with this job, and I freaking love it. Um, but... Well, if he's fresh out of basic, then he had experience. Well, wait, how is he fresh out of basic and getting a job? Did he get like? Did he uh, do National Guard or something? Um, but 25 Bravo is the generic and uh, broad IT job. There's pretty much like no other one in the military that works like this. There is a new MOS that has been rising called 25 Delta, where you are a uh, cybersecurity specialist. Um, you work in the cyber command of the army at Fort Gordon, and it's questionable. It's not worth it right now. Is the bottom line though. 
It's not worth it. We have ten! And you can't... Yeah. We have ten, finally. Now we can stop talking about nerd stuff! <laughs> nerd stuff, I was gonna say. Oh um, my! Hey man, if you, guys, if you guys love the IT field like I do, by all means. If you enjoy me talking about it, I like talking about it. I was it. interested. I was interested. I can tell you all about, about the Army, and I can tell you a lot about the IT field and uh, futures. And, uh, and if you ever need help with college majors and degrees and directions to go with that, I have uh, been banging my head against walls for like the last year about that. Well, if he quote unquote got out, then I don't, I don't know how he could do that, to be honest. Because it wouldn't be a dishonorable discharge. He would, it would just been uh, other than honorable. But everything would have been... If he just got it out of basic, he wouldn't have any title. He wouldn't have any years of experience. He, he would literally have nothing. He, I mean, that's not even enough time to get the college credits you get from AIT for going to the, the classes for your training. Like, I, I don't know if I believe it. If he's making... I don't believe that he's making 124k, to be honest. I, can I don't make believe it, that either. I can believe that you can make it maybe at 22 years old, but that's pretty fucking surreal. No, no, no. Maybe you feel like you have, like, connections, then you're going to be making another Um, National Guard, or... like, the, the thing is, the difference here is, uh, the National Guard, you do get paid for being in, but not, like, active duty like I am. And the National Guard, you go, you basically take one month out of your year, and, it, and it's, it, it's kind of divided like that over the course of the year. Every two weeks... Or, yeah, every two weekends out of your month, you go to your base or you do some drills with your unit, and then that's basically the days you're getting paid for. But depending on your rank, you do get money for that. But if he only went through basic training and then he got out, then he's not receiving that either way. Um, now, the other part is if he got medically discharged, then he could... Oh, a wealthiest county in the USA. Hey, man, if that's the case... <laughs> More fucking power to you. I'm impressed and upset and triggered right now in all the same ways. Because um, I'm sure it could happen, but it's just not... That's definitely not a normal thing. Believe me when I say... I, I know for a fact it's it's a thing where you experience will still be taken over over certifications. Uh, but if, you're, if he was medically discharged because he got a quote-unquote out, as you put it, uh, in basic training... You do get compensation and do get uh, paid for for what you kind of for what the military broke in you. Like, like if the military caused me to break my leg because like a Humvee hit me or some crap or just any means basically for my service, I will get paid for that once I get out. And uh, it, it's possible that it's it's definitely not that. Like he's he's in shape. He, is he like Arnold Schwarzenegger or? Okay, no, it's, you just hate the place. Um, but you know it's possible. It, you could get out for some reason like that, even if it's your hearing, your vision, a lot of different reasons, and you will get paid for that indefinitely for the rest of your life. So that is one positive, and that's what the whole VA clinic is about, although there are a lot of problems and uh, reassurances of that. It's, it's oh, I'm in Toronto problem. too! Oh, ah! damn! Toronto! Can Canadians in the house. Canadian. Oh, Canada. Oh, yo, Canada. So where's Kush, man? We need to start this off. Yeah, where is, where is Kush, man? Wasting a lot oh, of time. Oh, by the way, shout out to my friend, uh, friend Deidre, or Zaf, as you guys may know her. I do know her. Bala Bear. Yeah. Bala, Bala, um, uh, I don't remember the name. Trolley Bear. Trolley, Trolley Bear. Bear. That's Trolley it. Bear. Yep. yep, there you Trolley go. Trolley Bear. Nice page. I used to be, uh, I mean, I remember admin she, there. I remember when she was a meme. I mean, she was a meme? <laughs> she was yeah, a meme? Yeah, Blake the Tor can tell you about that one. Oh my god. Yeah, there was a point when a lot of people were picking on her, and she was kind of like the... She was like Nancy Tran for a moment. Oh my gosh, Nancy Tran. Like in the spotlight, like her at least. <laughs> um, do you think we should just kick kick Kush? <sighs> He's taking a long time, and that's. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we okay, if we have a person waiting, then sure. Yeah. It's if we have a person waiting. Said wait. Balloon said wait. Yeah, you know, I can't see myself managing servers personally, just because it, it's not really that hard of a job. And like, I mean, it's simple. You will get paid good money. You will get paid good money. I'll tell you that. But it's just, you know, if a job's boring, then I can't fucking do that, man. <laughs> Fuck that. God, I need something that makes me think. I need something I can consistently learn. Even if even if it's not programming, like regular IT, I can keep learning, get certifications, learn better security, and all this shit. But server administration would just be like, yep, it's secure. 
yeah, I configured this. It's like, oh, we need another feature. Done. <laughs> and yeah, it, it is simple and it does pay well. It's, if that's what you want, man, that's all for you. My brain does not sit well doing nothing. I'm like a coffee maniac. I love coffee. Double double. I make coffee for a living, thank you very much. Uh, Tim Hortons. Oh, if you know you. what that is. <laughs> I don't think you know what Tim Hortons is. I You're don't. American. Wait, where do you live in America again? Uh, I'm in uh, Maryland right now, East Coast. Maryland. Oh, okay, so you're not like that up north yet to where uh, Tim Hortons is a thing. Yeah, I used to live in Illinois. Oh, Illinois? That's like no idea. Yeah, I think that's like Chicago. I don't yeah, freaking is, know is. my states. Oh, I'm a, I'm a boss. A lot of people, some people think Chicago is the state, and that's something I've, I've been amazed by. Chicago is a state. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. is, isn't, isn't that where like what, all you the did, you didn't Transformers know? <laughs> shit went down? Yeah, Transformers. And uh, I, I anomaly. I think that's am I anomaly I? Or, that's uh, that's my friend oh. Philip. He messaged me on Facebook. He's like, thanks for a shout, uh, shout out. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Shout out to him. A shout out to uh, <laughs> I anomaly I. Squares the one from person Alberta. talking in Twitch chat. Welcome to the stream, brother. Ah, uh, you, you didn't make your deep right. enough. Welcome, to the, welcome to the stream, brother. Welcome to the rice fields. All right. Uh, well. <laughs> oh, we got a dilly lift. Yeah, Kush was actually lift. just messaging me saying he was back, but hey, oh. man. You snooze, you lose. It's it's just, you know, we can't wait forever on you, bro. You know, we wanted you here. We did give you the invite and give you the chance, but we, we waited for a good amount of time, man. You got to be fair about that, at least. Um, All right, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. So, um, wait, who who placed the bet first last game? You or me? Like, who picked the team? I picked the teams. We can uh, keep them the same. Actually, no, yeah, let's... Well, you know, we can we can bet on either team. The the team names are just as they are right now. Yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah. go with which team will you go? Which one which one are you siding with? Yeah, let's let's decide that. Just random right now? I mean it can be random. Doesn't... I'm going for purple. Alright, well then or I'm a red team. Alright, well I'm going for blue. Because uh, statistically blue has the higher win rate on any side of the map regardless of the team. Yeah, well uh they have Sean DePaul, so Uh well uh you know oh, what Oh you I... guys have stopped women. You know what? You know what? I quit. I quit. <laughs> it's done. Sean DePaul wins. I'm done. I quit. Quitting. Red burn Quitting explains for losers. 101. Hello. Sejuani ban. Me. The thrush ban. Hey, th Sejuani is pretty strong right now. She's the She's definitely one of the stronger ones uh, with the, in the Cinder Hulk meta right now. And Zed getting banned now from uh, Francis uh, over there. Don't want him on Zed. Thrush from Bud Mr. Balloon. And Sejuani is just an overall ban like you went into. Yeah. What's the next band? Raining out Umbra Entis is uh is that there? Not surprised. He did very nice. He, he started off a little rusty. Close kill, sl close battles, close duels, but definitely was an impressive player. Grag's band. I don't think any of them played Gragas uh, in this lobby. And the Blitzcrank. No more. No hooks. No hooks. Oh no hook, my! No I'll, hooks I'll allowed. Mean, come on, a move band. This Damn is it. not fishing season, all right? <laughs> LeBlanc. Ooh. Oh, the Valkos! The true damage. I hate Valkos. His ult and is just his kid. Hey, 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 hey I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm just let you finish. But I just wanted to say, Redburn Flame 101 wanted me to tell you that you're a cool guy. Redburn Flame. Oh, I got the friend request. <laughs> I was about to accept it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Seeing the Valkos hovering pick right now. He's a pretty strong pick. I actually love him a lot. I like seeing people play him as well. He's just a fun, kooky character overall. You know, the yeah, spaghetti but monster is just. Him. That's true. <laughs> Spaghetti monster. Oh my god, that's like a first first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> um, we'll have to see where this goes. I, I like the pick. Yeah, there we go. Lock it's in. Actually, line. switching. Oh, back. the Nautilus. The Nautilus. He's they're bringing the hooks back. That's that's my team right there, man. Nautilus OP. We want it. It's the win. And oh, Madka's bad. Man, look at that. And the Caitlyn. Oh, the vein is that's double lift. That's double lift. I like Vayne. Vayne's really good into the new current tank meta because of her armor shred and just all of it. Her ability. Yep, percent of health shred on her, on her silver bolts against the, the Cinder Hulk meta of massive health tanks. 
So it uh, is definitely very effective. She's still honestly one of the best ADCs in the game to me, at least on a personal level. I think her she her attacks are just right. incredibly reliable. She feels very responsive. Just, just a clean pick overall. She's hard to play. One of the hardest ADCs, but most people disagree with me and be like, "Oh, she's so easy. She's best three. Right click. Oh, so hard. <laughs> right click. So no, that's Caitlyn. Uh, that's that's the pick. Uh, Morgana being locked Shut. in. Kind of an interesting pick. Maybe she was thinking that it was gonna be a thresh. I mean, a uh, Nautilus support and opting for the, the spell shield to block all four of his CCs that he has. But even, even if it's Nautilus jungle, that's a good thing for team fights. Absolutely, it is. So, even so, good pick. And, you know, high CC for a uh, somewhat immobile uh, an ADC right there with that, that vein. She does have tumbles, so dodging them will be pretty easy most, for the most part in lane. But if there is any traps that she jumps on, Goodbye. Oof. You are getting hit with that dark binding, and it is going to be so dark you won't see it before you're dead. Catherine's on the Janna, though. The legendary Janna. See, look at that. My team's going to win, man. Well, you know what? You know, it's, you know what, man? It's over. I I'm putting all my money on Anomaly. Oh, Anomaly? <laughs> I'm putting all my money on him. Is all he right. in the game? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> But he's gonna one v five them anyways. I believe <laughs> he said one v five. I'm just reading that. Oh, the Yasuo, the young Yasuo into uh, Velkos. Interesting pick. We will have that pick uh, with the Janna knockup as well as the uh, two knockups right that the Nautilus does provide because his hook does knock up a single target while he's pulling them back. Yeah, but um, Yasuo one wall can't stop Velkos death ray. It's not a projectile. You're right at this fact, actually. Yeah. We'll have to see that. Um, he does have a lot of mobility and can obviously just dash right through him, and then he, you know, he wouldn't be able to turn all the way around. But more often than not, Velkos has played pretty passive aggressive and you know like to ult near their tower. So if he does that, it, I don't, I don't think the opportunity is going to come very often. No. Oh, the um, young box box top lane, or it might be a jungle box mm -hmm. box. Oh, oh, you get it because he just picked he just picked Joswo. <laughs> come on, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta follow the lore. I, I don't follow Lord, that's the that, thing. That technique. <laughs> uh, they're sworn enemies, you know, like Yasuo, uh... Yasuo and I Riven? I can't remember exactly the full story behind it, but there's like a technique that, um... They were both taught by one single person, if I remember correctly. And like in like a street. school together at the time, and uh... Riven is like the exile, and I don't really remember her lore very much, but I know like she has something to do with She broke like, her sword. Yeah, but she did it for a reason, and I can't remember. <laughs> she was I don't know the lore all that much because I don't remember it. Although I have heard it many mm -hmm. times. Uh, but they are enemies. They are enemies because like so even y they actually have special interactions with each other where like Yasuo will go like that technique like that, and he mentions some stuff about like wind strikes and uh, certain things with the wind. So when Yasuo was actually being released and on the PVE, a lot of people thought that Janna, in fact, was going to be the alter uh, like enemy there in that case, but not not the case because uh, wind slash for ultimate on Riven. Oh yeah, wind slash. It's wing slash. Wing slash. My bad. Yeah, no wind. Uh, where's the wing? I don't know. We'll see. Once we get into the game. The volleyball coming out from uh, Trick 2G's team over there. You have volleyball. You have Trick 2G on your team. GG. You the area is being locked into the top lane, and actually, uh, yeah, the the ignite. I mean, uh, the smite swapping out there, so it's gonna be a volleyball jungle. Uh, but. Darius, a personal favorite of mine as far as top laners go, he's very strong, has a lot of potential. I don't know how he's going to fare against Riven, but uh, we'll, we'll see. That'll be a fun time. Dude, true damage OP. Yeah, it's man. just going to be a Bloodfest top lane. That's all I'm going to say. Hmm. Bot lane, I think, Caitlyn, your, your bot lane has the edge right here. We'll have to see. I'm not a big personal favor of Morgana support in general, but some people can pull it off. It's just how it is. Um... So, so you're not Aphromoo, huh? I'm not, I'm not Aphromoo. Um, yeah, these are, these are interesting person. teams. I think uh, <laughs> Purple Team definitely has the late game in it, and especially has the team fights, but uh, there's a lot of situational things that can happen with Blue Team between that Riven and the Velkaz. Uh, Caitlyn, Morgana, and Valibear, they're all kind of situational. They're more for initiations, just getting harassed off, maybe landing a dark binding, but overall I doubt we're going to see any power plays from them, except for maybe like a Flash Morgana ult if, uh, if we're lucky. Valibear doesn't usually have a whole lot of power, but he can snowball. He can be very powerful, but... He has a uh, huge power. Rolling thunder in there. Ah! Then bites someone for half their health. Just, uh, just want to see how it goes, because he doesn't always get to that point, and... Um, so something uh, I want to bring up for the suggestion of the stream, 
So like what you're seeing right now, like how we're in this like you know pause phase, like where uh, you know the champions are in the center, anyways, for the um, the uh, spectator view. But in the LCS, they always have like the uh, transitioning cameras and stuff like that going on in the middle. I was wondering if we could do something for that here, and I'm not really sure what we could put there though. Trans I don't know. Uh, player cams, easy. GG. <laughs> if it were that easy, man, I would love to so much. Dude, just put like GIFs up or GIFs, whatever, however you pronounce it. Just put them up. I go GIFs. Yeah, I go GIFs. Just three minutes of just uh, like YouTube videos or like popcorn time, like Trick 2G does. Gotta think of something, something, think of something entertaining. Yeah, I want it to be somewhat yeah. fun but professional. You know, not like too childish and bad so quality, but entertaining. More IT talks? Maybe, yeah. Um, This is more like. Yeah, graphic design is a big hobby of mine, so this is where like all this uh, yeah, I'm into that too. So. Graphic design, uh, multimedia design as a whole, is pretty much what I've got captured. So, middle mouse button. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> you just uh, press it. Nothing happened. Dude, oh, it's because you're 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 holding down the bar and you're just going up and down, and he's just like middle mouse button, bro. That works too. Oh, I I triggered him. I triggered someone. You, you, you <laughs> triggered him, man. Damn. Horrible. You're a horrible person. It's also called the Sorry. scroll wheel. Scro scroll your wheel. Thank you. <sighs> All right, five seconds until we take off, ladies and gentlemen. I, th I think I can get a quick piss in here. I'm out. Be right back. Alrighty. Uh, loading screen. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, looking at the borders, we have three silver and uh, three silver versus four silver and then two gold, one unranked. Uh, but as we, I, I want to point out, as we saw in the previous tournament, uh, the final team, thick, not thick 2G, um, Cane Deer 2G, the final team that actually won for the finals, most of their team, god dang it, this thing is switch, switching out automatically to the wrong thing, sorry about that guys. Um, the final team that actually won the, uh, the previous tournament, yeah, this thing is not working as, as intended. Sorry to keep stopping in mid-sentence. Um, what, what? There we go. Now we're back. You're back once again. We are Best of back. luck to all. Once again, on Summoner's Rift. Purple team is going to win. We, we, Prepare we, to be stopped. How would you guys oh, feel you about us? Like, how would you guys feel about us uh, like just doing that the whole time for like the, the shoutcasting? Like, talking we like should the, the, do the, Korean. The, Korean commentator. Nice, Mika. What? Anyo uh, haseyo. Shut up! I don't know this. <laughs> you and your five Korean words, man, you're good. What'd you just say? Uh, well, Nash Mika is it's like a weird reading in a way. It's kind of kind of weird. Like, like uh, most of the Koreans actually said it kind of like in replacement of Hua. Because we, we, you know, in the army, we're like, oh, whatever. It's like, oh, sergeant, oh, yep, oh, yeah. cool. you tracking, oh, <laughs> you know, that's what oh. we do. Um, Anihaseo is hello, kind of like, hey, hi, hello. Okay, I see you. Haseo. but you say it really quickly. It's not, it's not, it's not, you like, that's how most Korean is, even though, like, the spelling and like the, the words are humongous. Most of it's very quickly spoken, and a lot of there's a lot of silent syllables that are there that's just for the structures because they don't use the same. Uh, obviously, even when it's trans translated to uh, English, it's, it's they don't word anything similar to us. There's a lot more uh, syllables. So that's what a Korean shoutcaster is like. Sounds so cool. Uh oh, I gotta message my friend on the stream link because he wants. Like, so uh, much. common thing. A lot of you'll see a lot of streamers, a lot of Koreans in general. See, it's like. I Shiba. I don't even know what that means. It's pretty much like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Learning swear words on stream. Yeah, Worth. Yeah. Oh, the triple Doran's Blade Star from uh, my team. Uh, I hope you did that. The, the whole yeah, all these people. Yeah, get some, get some, uh, some, some beginners Korean tutorials in the start of this game, guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, yeah, interesting start. Uh, Jana once again opting for that Spell Thief's Edge. It does give the gold production, so it's not necessarily something I want to say is terrible. It does have a value to it, but you are kind of 
still giving giving up your early game power because you're not really opting for other items. Darius Tatchy in oh my. trying to get is the bleed gonna get her is the question right now. Not. not going to. I wasn't watching that, but uh, she actually used the potion, which pretty much counters it. Um, but if she didn't have that, it pro it could have been very close. She decides to stay in lane when he's gonna have his E up right now. Both Ooh, flashes it. down in the lane right now, and I think. I don't know who's favorite. That's going to be more in of actually because uh, they both have a lot of all in potential. Uh, Darius, but especially right now because he did out just out just out trade her. But we'll see. Once once she gets that tr that shield up, she will be able to get a lot of free damage to retrade back. Oh, she does have it up actually, yeah, but you know she doesn't have her double, you know. But um, mm. let's see, let's see. It's just a stalemate everywhere, Nautilus basically. actually starting at the Krugs, getting his rub buff, and then immediately running straight to his Gromp and getting up his blue. Not yeah, he sure. smited that um, Gromp camp for the Top lane, Thor male. Darius pulled Riven right back as she tried Ooh, to get away. Level, you got level 3 with the slow. Very nice use of that early, that advantage. One ability more is a huge advantage early game, guys. It's Shun the same the reason oh. why... You know, bottom lanes like Leona's and people with CC that the level 2 should always be feared. And people... People... Whew, I feel my butthole Le clutches. Level two Lucian power spike, easy. Exactly, and even top oh. lane. Nautilus Three. gank. Nautilus, uh, yeah, but uh, no uh, follow up. No follow up. They're not going in. John is slowly coming in here, but nothing. Uh, no flash. Some some good damage, so it does help them, but not what they're looking for here. Hmm. Interesting start up the top lane of Darius. He picked up another Durans and actually got a Ruby Crystal as well. So he's gonna have a, a really huge early game influx of, of health over that Riven. I think he might going be going for that Phage. That's gonna build into the new Black Cleaver. I hope so. I hope so. Not all skanking in, but failed because of the more Morgana spell binding, whatever. Uh, black Shield? No, 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 no. It wasn't Black Shield. She, uh, she, uh, she dark Binded him? Dark Binding. There we go. Yeah. I, didn't I just see mixed it. up two of those. Camera, camera slightly away from him, but I did see him try to land that hook. I'm like switching everywhere. Uh, I would be a terrible like streamer, just like switching back and forth, up and down. Something I do, top. which it's it's fine that yeah, top lane here, but actually Riven getting a little too comfortable. Oh, there he's gonna that, that level three, I think. Yeah, that level th rank three, three Q, which is exactly what I would do. Destroying, because as you get closer, there's like a little ring for the inner and outer. If you're in the inner circle, it does an influx of damage. That's so much more, as we just saw it going in live. Um, Darius, is, he's going to be ready to get another kill really quickly. She's, she's trying to... She has so much mobility. Um, she's but, halfway to six, though. Man. Mid lane, just a farm fest. What I do mostly for most of my streams, in fact, I do it now, uh, I kind of learned this lesson, at least for being the host and broadcaster of this stream. I just leave it on directed camera, and it, it's easier if you have it this way for people to follow, because it does follow exactly the same as if you were to keep it the same. Um, sometimes you get a little camera. bit ahead of me, but yeah. just because that's natural in the streams for whatever reason. But uh, it's one way to keep people like tracking the same things, but that's not always a good thing. You know, it's fine that you, you, know, you can walk and watch around and do whatever you want. So it really doesn't make a difference for what you do. If anything, you can be, keep more track of other things, but um, you know the camera's like a third set of eyes, even even beyond ours too. Because then mm -hmm. you know I'm looking across the map, looking for like people getting close, things going down, checking the health bars, paying attention to what you're talking about, and you know, and, and that sort. And uh, I'm actually like pretty used to the the hotkeys of the of the thing. Valdir jumping top lane right now, level four against that level six Darius. He's gonna, gonna get dunked. He's, that's gonna he's be gonna a get, double no, kill. No, actually, Riven getting the stun off very nice in time, but she might go down as well. No, she's no. gonna use the E to get away very close. And Darius, I'm sure, just Should've crying the on the inside, wanting that trigger to be pulled for the, <laughs> the dunk. Oh, well, she has wind slash or wink. That that man, I'm having some PTSD of that Pacquiao may, may win fight right there, guys. I'm just telling you that now. Oh my gosh, please! No, oh, don't even <laughs> mention that fight. Oh my god, it was supposed to be a rematch, apparently. Yeah, I heard about that. It's it's, it's like a 50-50 with me in my mind of whether that's another like money scheme or if it's gonna be a fair fight. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's a money. It doesn't scheme, matter to yeah, it pretty much is. It doesn't matter to me anymore either way. Mm -hmm. I watched it on Twitch before the channel got banned. Riven hitting level six now as well has that wind slash up. I think that's what it's called still. No, it's wind slash. No, it's it's like yeah, path of exile, blade of exile, wind slash. 
Yeah. Okay, I knew I had it right. Uh oh, uh oh, there he's that. pulling him back. Bring the job. Bring them to town, <gasps> brother. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> Dunked. <laughs> Michael Jordan dunk right there. Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Red team like the the freaking Chicago Bulls right there, guys. Represent. <laughs> Chicago Bulls. Who was that player on the Chicago Bulls? Uh, Michael Jordan. Oh. No, 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 no. Wasn't it another Chicago Bulls player, like, recent, that he's really Droz or whatever? I have no idea. I don't follow basketball. Oh. Yeah, I'm a basketball player. I'm a really tall guy, so I play basketball. I'm learning. I'm learning. That's, that's all I'll say. Oh, yeah, because in the military, you play basketball, huh? Uh, or, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. They do in the movie. So it depends what people are up for. Hmm. Caitlyn did get a lot of harass there from Vayne and that Janna shield. Beauty. Nardo still AFK farming. Darius, uh, oh, I need to face hey. these, uh, these uh, icons actually again. I almost forgot again. Darius um, died. Oh no, he's deeping it. Darius picking up that bloodthirster on his last back there. Uh, not quite having it. No. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no bloodthirster. It. Both of them have done it, and it started with both the bees. All right, man. Uh, Yatso getting ganked mid lane. He actually used his uh, the rolling thunder to toss him back. Uh, Valder's gonna pop his ultimate as we see Riven rotating around as well. He doesn't get any auto attacks off. He also pops his passive on the Valder as well. So overall, really well done from that Yasuo going out on a two v one there. That that last spread did a lot of damage. But how how do you know that Riven was coming? I mean, he, he probably could take taking that double kill if Riven didn't come in. I don't think he knew overall, but he just he just flashed out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well played by him. Maybe the teams were communicating well there. We do have some players in the team speak at the moment. But who knows whether they're just uh, they're just quoting Dunky all day, or they're having fun, or taking yeah. it seriously. You know, it, you can go a lot of ways, guys. I mean, Darius um, Dar Dar looks like he's serious. He's serious, man. Oh yeah, he's serious. But uh, yeah, the br the brutalizer are being picked up on Darius. Not quite enough for the phage, but he's actually gonna pull Riven back. Oh, land that flash w. again. No, yeah, flash once again down on Riven. He has oh, him. He's, he's gonna, gonna go in and dunk. He doesn't have enough, but he does have a lot of health. Not gonna be enough. Riven's getting tons beautiful. of damage in on him. She's gonna survive. She's gonna survive. Come on, auto die. Auto die. She will die. She didn't die. Barely living. A wonderful roughly thing. ten health left on the Riven. Very nicely done under tower. As Darius made a very greedy decision to go and dive. Did he flash in? Uh, he did flash in. Oh my. That, that was a poor decision overall, just mainly for the fact that Riven's flash was down. He had an advantage. He could have stayed in lane and just pressured even beyond everything else. She was going to back, and that was, that should have been obvious, if, if not farm under tower, where he could have been planned for it. That was just a manly play, all in all. Oh yeah, very manly. Balls to the wall. Ball of bear, a wild animal, smelling uh, pink words out of place in that bush. Oh, here Nautilus comes. rotating down the bot lane. Oh, Black Shield Black is not down. up to block the the, uh, the hook. Nautilus ultimate going down. His Black Shield finally goes up now. Not Wait. going to. What? She's walking she, right she, out as all three members of Red Team just don't oh follow my God. up with it. Vain win for Caitlyn instead of Morgana. That was misplayed. Meanwhile, top lane. A lot of good trading on her ribbon. Has Box, a lot Box. Of oh, she has one slash. She's dead. Very nice. And mid lane now, on top of that, we're seeing a lot of interaction between the Yasuo and Velkos, oh, but now. some disengage actually. <laughs> Toss in the anchor man right there. <laughs> pretty, pretty heavy. Um, oh, he's actually going to decide to opt out of that fight and say, no, so I don't deep. care, Valibear. I want the, the, Jenna, the fallen angel, the real Pop. beauty here. <laughs> <laughs> Yasuo no. rotating from mid lane as Velkos is actually rotating slowly behind as well. Caitlyn trying to get that ult off onto the vein, but not going to be enough. Yasuo is going to get the nice damage on him. Uh, Valkyrie's passive already up again as Velkaz lands his ult, almost oh killing the Yasuo, but goodness. not enough to no surprise. Yasuo does have his... not his, did flash for that. He does have his ult on Yasuo, and he did not use it on the... Uh, too risky of a play to go onto the, that Valibear, although he could have gotten the kill. I mean, it would have been a one-for-one. One. I don't it think it would have been more worth it. Top lane for Riven. Nah, Riven is just going to escape. Hey man, his flash is down. He used it under tower. But yeah. This is what he's paying for right now. You're going in and trading anyway, saying I don't care. Oh. Your your advantage is over, I, but you know what? Uh, you know uh, what? You, not you know what? I quit. Gonna die. Uh, the last auto attack. And Riven's still a wow, oh my god. So much shielding with on such Two a HP. low cooldown. Two HP. Two HP, guys. I think that was probably a misplay on Darius' part top lane, but you know what? It's it's Riven. She is a 
bouncing Mandalier machine. Monster. It's unbelievable. Volibear almost dying to dragon. He's gonna die. No way. No, he's not. He's good. He's good. He's, good. he's just Morgana's gonna That's take it. He should. He should auto attack him. Morgana's tanking it. Oh! 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 Oh, I'm kind of like hoping for Volibear to die to the dragon. Oh my gosh. No worry, man. My team's got this. But this is an even like game so far. I mean, 13 minutes into the game, it's not one-sided like the other games. Oh, I have the, the mid lane and the junglers mixed up there, guys. Sorry about that. Nice going, man. Yeah, seen a huge amount of farm, uh, 40 more farm on that yacht, but that's mostly where the blue, the gold on the red team is actually coming from with their lead. We're seeing top lane going Dead. really hard on the ribbon there, actually. Dead. She's going to try to win slash with the, uh, the Darius. She does get him and then finishes him with that one last auto. She does get extended range on her abilities and her auto attacks with that ultimate, just just patting him in the head with a carrot. Darius is a sitting duck, basically. Like, when he yeah, doesn't have flash. We're, we're just trading kills here. Both of them are just going all in, or they're just dying to all ins. It's uh, no, yeah. no real reactions because once their flashes are gone, they really can't react. Ruben has a lot of mobility built in at the very least, but if the Darius has been playing smart like he has been, he can pull her back and timely try to get the kill and secure it. So far it hasn't been working though. Not at all. Hmm. Yasuo going for the post the classic post-release static ship, getting ganked on by the ribbon top lane, rotating. Ooh, Ooh, that was a nice time. flash. Nice flash, actually wasting the ultimate from the Velkaz. But I mean, that was worth it. It was. For it your was, team. You save yourself and his ult. Uh, well, I mean, he was saving himself out of the way because the ult was already down. But yeah, uh, and know, Darius DP negated all that ult, so he's safe for another day. Uh, Darius, yeah, Darius, yeah, Darius DP mid lane just covering down. Uh, saying they're not going to give up this tower that easily. The, the Nautilus coming right out of the bush. In, oh, going dead. way too hard. Getting dead. hit by the tower and taking a lot of good damage from that Yasuo. That last auto attack from Bear slap to the face <sighs> from the Volibear. And just oh, another what? kill going down for red team right now. These these, these trades are just not very even. No. Oh, Nautilus went for the early sight stone. So finishing as uh, Cinder Hulk. Very interesting, and actually a very strong pickup, not only for LCS play, guys. Yeah, I was I about think to gives say you health, and yes. those wards do a give you a lot of power. Oh, final let's pop bot lane. What's gonna happen? I think Morgana might actually go down. No, what? What's being going down? Condemned nice condemn the right into the wall, pretty far away, but gonna back out and very smart too, because she actually didn't even try to directionally dodge that dark mining and just gets hit away out of tower she range. Play that. They she, misplay that so badly. Absolutely, she could have just avoided the dark binding and gotten a kill. Like, I'm a vein main. I was like, dude, that's a free double kill, and it's like, oh, double lift. Oh well. Top lane, seeing Darius going for that Kindle gem. Uh, not really sure where he's gonna go with that. Phage, Phage, and then the new block lever. Kindle gem? Yeah. Kindle gem. Yep. Trust me, it's 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 dumb. It's a uh, phage and Kindle gem that build into a new to the new black lever. At least I think. Uh, you can look it up. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't. Hmm. We'll have to see. But um, either way, Riven actually already having her black cleaver complete and having an additional brutalizer right there. So she has so much more power in the lane right shred. now. Extreme amounts. Darius does have his E, but it's usually something you only get one level in and don't max until later ranks. Yeah, so taking an insane nice, nice little though. dancing there with Valkyrie's landing all those uh, geometric skill shots. You know, ha ha ha, geometry. Um, geometry, huh? Uh, yeah, he must be smart. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> must be Asian. Yeah. Damn. Um, very nice job. He's, if, if he can continue to bully the lane, he, even though he doesn't have as much farm as Yasuo, he, he does have two more kills and is playing very well. What? Ignite? What? Boy, boy? <laughs> what, uh, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Bot lane with that uh, bit. They can <laughs> turn. Vayne going in onto that. Uh, oh, nice condemn. Nice condemn and stealth but getting away from the, lost uh, vision. the rolling thunder. We're gonna stay. Diddly's vision. Oh, what a nice uh, monsoon. Knocking Valor right back into the tower. He took like one shot, but not gonna be enough. Uh, we'll see this. Oh, he's gonna get the bear bite. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. It's basically like a chill, yeah. If Yasuo decides to stay in lane, as we just saw, some skill shots going after him. Uh, Velkaz does have his ultimate Ooh. up, and uh, there goes the ultimate once again, but Velkaz that does have his well ultimate up, so we'll have to see how this goes. Nautilus rolling in, trying to get Rip. that Velkaz, but he goes Rip. in on him anyways, gets the kill. Very nice, just ballsy play going 
right in after him. As you see Ribbon rotating as well, He's getting dead. some good damage He's from dead. both of them, still from a distance slash. from the Noodly Spaghetti Monster. He doesn't care. Noodly Spaghetti Monster, oh my god. How do you say that with a straight face? I can't. Like, Yasuo's dead and he's talking. Did you hear that? That technique. Yeah, that was the interaction I was talking about. Oh, that, that was technique. the interaction! Oh, yeah, I heard that. That technique. Wow. I told you, man. I wasn't lying. Um, but, uh, yeah, here we go again. Mid lane. Riven with her, her built items already. Darius actually going for a... Uh, he doesn't have his phage fully built, but he does have the longsword and the health. Flashing away. He knows he will die if he stays. Even though Riven's ultimate is down, he just can't... Take oh risks. no, that's greedy! That's greedy! Don't do that! Oh, maybe a poor decision, almost a poor decision on River, but the dunk did not that land. Nice that would have been her death, but Yasuo running in anyways to get the kill. Asayo! I mean, I like what your team's doing right now. They're just grouping mid lane, but then so is my team. Oh, nice spell shield. Well, they're dropping the disrespect. They should dive Caitlyn Ball in right now, push out that lane and uh, dive her. Stop pulling 2k15. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Volibear's sitting on top of a ward and taking Dragon. Will the red team react? Red team will react. He's not going to get that Dragon down in time. I've seen a teleport coming down from the, uh, the Darius, however, right there. But he cancelled it. What? No, that what? was Ribbon. My, my no, that was Ribbon. That was Ribbon. Yeah. I was looking at the teams, but I, I keep getting confused because, uh, here we go. Uh, Morgana actually uh, popping her ult, trying to get Yasuo. He, he uh, flashes away. Nautilus still in the center of the fight, being a main tank here. Popping his ult, hitting all four of them. Very nice lineup for the ult, but it didn't connect to every single one of them. Uh, Darius trying to roam up to kill that, uh, that bear, but he's not, he's not a bear hunter. He can't survive it. Uh, Yasuo almost getting away there, but not quite enough. The mobility of that rabbit is just too much. Way too much. How do you, how do you even commentate over these Wombo combos? It's just, just like... The ADCs didn't even li 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 lift to tell the tale. <laughs> we, yo, we need to get some like instant replays on like the stream. We could, we could. The, the problem with that is like always just the case of... Uh, you know, it's like trying to match like Riot's production. I I'm trying to do as much as I can, make it good. But like, they have a fucking like studio. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> Trigger warning. <laughs> um, you know, they have like a goddamn like freaking built-in, customized like program studio for all this crap. Like a lot of engineering and so much setup. You know, nothing like a single computer could ever do. That sucks. Yeah, sadly. But one day, one day I'll figure something out. You know, we could always do replays, but we can't have like the transitioning like animations and like different screens and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just always sad. That'd be too hard though. Three hard by me. Basically. Yeah. Mm. Darius took red buff from his jungler. Um, okay. Riven is so strong now. Look at all those armor pen items. All That's those basically armor pen items. every all armor pen item in the game. Or armor shred. Yeah, actually, she only needs to finish a Yomo's ghost blade and then get another brutalizer, and she's maxed out. <laughs> yeah. Bolivar uh, throwing out the slowing smite onto the Darius. Oh, Velkaz ultimately going right. down as he just bites him off at the very end. I think that the Velkaz ultimately could have finished him even so. Lots yeah. and lots of damage there. Very nice job just catching him out, not letting him run away there. Oh, Finally, a lot of interaction here. Uh, Morgana got a pop her ult and actually flashing in she after the Vayne so already nice. disconnected nice. the nice. tether. Just. That was a very miss, very big misplay there. Oh Vayne making good use for stealth to stop the Caitlyn auto attack to win the trade. Top lane, simple trade. Actually, Ribbon getting away almost. Here we go. But oh, the, the finally, there we go. Not letting it happen, saying he'll blow his ult for it and actually pick up the kill with the uh, Nautilus anchor there. Not, I mean, uh, ultimate there. Uh, no, wait, who, who took the kill? I thought you also took the kill. He also took the kill. Yeah, he does. Well, he does. No, he didn't use it. Like, no, he, no, he didn't use. It. No, he um, what's his cube called? He, did he use the tornado? Because he was too far away for it like to connect. Oh no, I think no, he he connected on him. Mm. What the cube? I've never seen instant replay of that. Let's let's check that out. We have to take a closer look. Did you go 15 <laughs> seconds? Illuminati. Oh my god! All right, this this is really messing us up now. We'll just All go right. back to live once. Here it is. Uh, here it is. Check it out. Well, yeah, he, he cured her. Different. 
Be cuter. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. I don't want to argue it too much. It's not like a big deal. I'm arguing like, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> don't be a child about it. There we go. There. And uh, we're back live, on live. Right? Am I back on live? Yeah, come on, go to live. I, I don't want to see. Uh, I don't want to see numbers. I want to see live. You press a J. There we go. No, but like it, it wouldn't go to it. Now it's live. All right, here we go. Ribbon Ribbon's actually jumping die. in and spotting. Oh, wow, a lot of. Oh my God. Wind slash coming across and doing so much damage. Riven is just unbelievable right now. She's Nautilus so even being the monstrous, beefy, healthy tank that he is, it doesn't matter. Riven is just so much AD. Even through, even with those armor pen items, it doesn't matter. Nautilus doesn't even have armor, but it, it doesn't make health. any difference. She's yeah. just got so much strong scaling and constant low abilities. Wow! Velkar is realizing his power very quickly right now at this point in the game. 6-0, and oh, just blowing Yasuo up with no hesitation. Why do you do this, man? Why do you always get the winning team? <laughs> oh, like, I told you, so blue, far team, blue team has won every game so far, I just want to say. Really? Yep, all three games. Oh my god. Well, it, it, assuming they win this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The gold I mean, values are very close, to say the least. Yeah, it's only 2k. One. So I, I won't call my shots, or call it yet. Uh, we're seeing blue team actually pushing down this bot lane. Only, uh, n uh bleh. Nautilus coming around, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's right. Blah, 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 blah. Um, he's not using his uh, Righteous Glory just yet. I know, Ari gets popped soon by... Um... Very nice condemn from the vein actually hitting him into the wall, but she's oh taking my, but so, she's much so much damage from the Volibear. Soul Shackles, I have Volibear. It's just auto attack, auto, auto attack. Kaelin can really auto attack the auto Nautilus. damage overall is just outplaying them here. They yeah. can't do anything about it. They only had it was 3v3, but it was just two supports first, uh, versus a very damaging tank. Terry is coming in oh for the damage. He also right behind him there. He's that. Vel Velkos might die from this. No. Nope. Some very aggressive flashes there. The Riven had TP. Riven had TP the whole time. Riven just still pushing top lane. Uh, yeah. Darius has his teleport up, but if he goes in, he knows he will die. He has to know this. They're going. She's not going to get the tower just yet. It's actually Nautilus is roaming oh, up with home guard boots. Idea. A very good damage on her so far. Almost got her half health there. From the tower. And the oh, is just my. taking the Jana that out with that, that final and just last gentle boop there in the last hit. Riven being in a very dangerous place there, overstaying her welcome very much as Yasuo just comes up, <laughs> crits her with the Q, and just massive damages. She put herself in a very bad position, overstated welcome that was overstanded for way too long. Almost getting the tower and get a lot of ni nice damage for free on it, however, but not... You know what, it doesn't even matter at this point because she's fed, she has her necessary items to yeah. snowball beyond anything else, but what can you do? Get out me swamp. <laughs> Rolling Thunder. Mm. So basically standard gameplay now. Yeah. Nothing really happening. Farming. But I mean, like, my team has edge sometimes, your team has edge the other times. So it's basically so situational right now. We'll have to see that that, uh, that Velkaz is still 7-0 and, and growing. He's huge. But so is, like, um, Yasuo. Yasuo is huge, Bane is huge. It's just... Caitlyn, she can't dent here. Oh, here comes uh, a... Yeah, one, one good wind wall could change the, the outcome of the game. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, you can't stop the life form disintegration, right? True, but so long as he dodges and, you know, just blocks the rest of the abilities, his ultimate yeah. won't be able to do anything. He'll be fine, then. Oh, my Morgana, Morgana Soul Shackles is only coming. She does land a Dark Binding to disengage the Yasuo, but we see the, oh. uh, the Nautilus Ultimate trying to follow up. He's trying to burst her down with e all his might. Is he going to get it? He actually pulls out the smite as well, but it's not going to be enough. It is the proccing uh, periodic true damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, he pops, he pops right to the door. He might... Uh, they're going to get Valkos. Or not. Oh, my God, Riven getting damage. destroyed by that Darius Holy. in the combination of the vein. Nautilus. That true damage passive. Uh, organic de deconstruction. Yeah, I can see that. It's deconstructed Yasuo's life. This huge damage coming off of Valkaz. Squiggly man. Squidward. Oh boy. Dragon's up. That's uh they should get that. Yeah, they're pretty really right much now. contesting of it. So far it's just been two early game dragons taken by that Volibear with pretty relative ease, you know. Uh, we're seeing them actually going for it again, but they do have aware of awareness of it this time and they they have a lot of power on their team. Uh, if they go for this, they can definitely pick up some kills here. 
Dare somebody flash onto her? No, he doesn't have flash. No one has flash on both teams. Oh no. Oh, there it is. If, if they, they, if they decide to go for this, that, that Bane has a lot of potential. But they're, they're actually being very careful about this, seeing that uh, they know people are nearby, they have some wards down. Uh, Volibear getting oh, not yeah, condemned. Can nice spell shield yeah. from the Morgana. That was kind of already there, so it was really good. That was nice on yeah, very nice one onto the Caitlyn, getting a lot of damage on Monsoon going down from Janna, trying to disengage and make sure see people are safe, but it also disengaged the enemies and made it where they got, they, they lost all the distance, they just closed. Not enough, but uh, Volibear just going right back in, basically, uh, and Darius is going to dunk him. His passive was already down from the previous fight and not enough. His flash does finally go down, so as you said before, stand straight. No, no, uh, no flashes on either teams. Dragon, get Dragon, get Dragon. There you go. Whoa, dude, if you press G, everything goes away. Yep, yep. I never knew this. I'm so new to spectating. I pressed G, I was like, ping it, ping it. I, I have a picture that shows all the hockeys. That really? I send to everyone who, uh, who was shoutcaster. Mm, or just okay. anyone who was shoutcaster in general. Anyone's on the team. I got you, bro. I got you. You're sending me? You're sending me it? I'll send you it. Alright, let's take a look at Skype. Oh, oh my fine. back. This chair sucks. <sighs> Oh, I mean that that team fight went to like blue team's favor at the beginning, then it would turn into red teams because of that Darius true damage with his ult. You sending it on Skype or Facebook? Uh, I'll send it on Skype. There right. you go. Scoreboard, ping, mini map. Fog of War, Fog of War, what is this? Oh, no. yes. Ooh! Seeing a lot of interaction down the bot lane, uh, Morgana, no, Velka is actually using, uh, I couldn't even tell, he's so golden and noodly. Uh, he just got cooked to crisp oh, right there. Yes, well. um, uh, with that Zanyas and just died immediately after. Morgana so close to going down there with uh, 35 health, in fact. Uh, we're seeing Riven rotating around, but she's gonna get spotted out by the pink board as John is just sitting nearby, and you know she, she says she says blow me because uh, she just blow me. <laughs> uh, that's that's my ward. You can't have that. She might die. One of those hooker hooker. Oh. Caitlyn's just standing there auto attacking people to death. Holy. Zanya's almost completed for from Morgana. She needs 20 more G. Back back. You have a Zanya's. You have a you have a Zanya's in 10 G. Back. Go back. He's not gonna go back. Oh. Velko's on his last back, fi finishing his void staff there, so that'll be a huge power spike overall. I, I think that's like a Ludin's Echo next item. Yeah, I think you're right about that as well. That'd be a very good item. Um, still a very close game. We're, this is interesting. This is the closest match we've had so far out of these last oh, yeah. three. Uh, Riven's items really haven't changed at all. She's uh, just picked up this team at. And that's, she that's picked it. up a team on like she 10 actually oh, still she has 3k. She, she, uh, she, yeah, she actually still doesn't even have uh, boots. In fact, yeah. I, uh, most <laughs> we'll of them boots. Right, just blue ward going down on the Nautilus as that oh, was a very nice my. disengage from the uh, Morgana with the spell thief. You know, the uh, Frost Queen's claim active as uh, Nautilus actually wasted his ultimate on them as well in the very end, not expecting that to occur. Death charge. That's his ult. Burn's just gonna be spot pushing top lane. She's gonna become a menace. Oh, Very nice vein. ult from oh Belkaz catching out the Janna and almost disintegrating that vein. Are, are they gonna uh, go very the nice dark fade away, just just fade away into the fade into the fog uh, with the dark binding. She knows what's in the dark. Oh, this is caught between a rock and a hard place right now. That he is, and, and very he nice flash launched. over that, that wall. But then Riven's right there with the combo. She that does have Riven's flash, she's going to go for it. She does He's get dead. it. Yasuo actually taking what? her out, ulting oh, two. Very it. nice dodge with the abilities from the Velkaz, but not enough. It's still 3v1 in that yeah. case. It's so close. That was a huge outplay right there, though. From, Boy Boy uh, almost Francis. brought the hype. Boy Boy almost brought the hype. Oh, my. Oh, the Bloodthirster, though. I don't know about that. I like my blader ranking on Yasuo. Not all those though, pure HP. He's gonna counter that Riven now. His Riven's not building any like health stretch, he can't shred health. <laughs> Poor Darius, trying to pull in the Gromp, but not enough. Wasn't wasn't close enough. Looks like he might be able to kill this uh this uh this Volibear. He's actually gonna pop his ultimate, but nope, there goes the dunk. 
Dunk City. With the uh, with the uh, the Dunk City what with that blah, blah, blah. <laughs> with the uh, the Dunk City weather forecast woman uh, Jana right there forecasting many dunks in the you know the bottom lane area. Go into this. Yasuo uh, still sitting up those crugs just now, rotating back. I had to mute my mic because uh, together. Odd daughter came into the room. Hey, whatever, man. Uh, Riven actually going straight in onto that thing. Straight vein. aggressive, a lot of but she's gonna die. Onto her. She goes down immediately. A very greedy decision. What was uh, a nice what? knock up from the Velkas. But Morgana uh, is caught out now. She uh, she's on and she has nothing else left. Yeah. Baron, that's a Baron, go Baron. Very easy pickup for the red team on both of those kills. Vayne almost died, actually. I didn't even realize she got that low with that. Wait, Vayne died? Oh, no, she almost died. died, almost died. Almost I didn't died. realize yep. she got that low. Uh, nice hook from the Nod, straight onto the Caitlyn. Bobber's gonna actually toss oh, it back to Caitlyn. It's pulled in like from, discretion, from right? the, uh, the Darius pull all the way back. That was like more than a hook, even at that. Um, Mikhail's. Oh. Mikhail's Crucible going down on Darius for the heal as he walks right back in, gets knocked up, and it's oh so much goodness. damage. The passive stacking on that Velkas is just going to blow him up. Jana walking away, not really going to use that exhaust actually as well. But you see Vayne rotating into Vayne's the fight, she's going to get tossed back like a salad. Oh, Riven TP, Riven TP, no! Wow, unbelievable. Very poor position Lucy, from the Vayne. Right Volibear just tossed her right into the salad with those noodles and just... Took <laughs> them out, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. Yes, I'm sorry. Noodles on the side. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Aggressive play. Exhaust goes down. The wind slash she comes will across. Win slash no with damage, the exhaust though. Reduce the damage enough to keep her alive. She is going to die I now. It looks like a lot of dodging there. Nice attempt. Nice attempt. Jeez. Should take the court. <laughs> that technique, as you would say. As uh, Yas will just <laughs> delete her. That's a pretty interesting technique. Pressing that one button on your computer. Um, blue team going for this Baron with the Caitlyn, Morgana, and Bolivar alone. Caitlyn being the main damage source here, although uh, not much else. That's, that's just a lot of bear paws slapping that, that, that slimy monster all over the place. Um, Slap pop. Velkaz rotating over, though. It is certainly theirs now. Red that's team not spite. interfering or trying to... Uh, Red team's going for a dragon though. At all. Yeah, you are right. They are rotating for the dragon dub. Blue team does have a ward on that. Riven's teleport is down, but we'll see she if, just uh, if anything happens. That Velkaz, he has his ult. If, uh, if he wants to make a play off this, he can definitely try. He's interested in, in his lurking the area. He, uh, if he lands one ability, dead. Absolutely, especially with this Baron now. That's a Thor mail from Volibear. Vayne can't do anything without killing herself. This is very true, especially with that passive rolling. She went, um, IE. I don't really recommend going IE into like a Thord mail. I like going Bloodthirster on Vayne, like, and Blade Rinking, because that extra life steal is just insane. Life steal is the only way to beat it. Mm hmm. Oh, I magic resist. Get that. Like, especially Vayne. Vayne does tr true damage. You don't need to get Last Whisper or anything. Just go, like, Bloodthirster there and IE after. So you survive. Just some uh, knowledge of the EDC roll right there. Spike, Spike, 420. And, like, it's just the fact. Red team doesn't have any wave clear against these Baron Dub minions. Except, except for Yasuo, but then Yasuo has to go in and he has the chance of frontal checking a Morgana binding or a like flash Yasuo, a uh, flash volley bear. Rolling Thunder. Oh no, no, that's not a good target! Vayne's like killing herself right now. She does get the shield from Janna to somewhat absorb the the, the, uh, the damage, but it's nowhere near enough. Yeah. The Osmo going straight into the bear. He's gonna ult after he lands the tornado on a single target, uh, in fact. There's Ned. There we go. Tons of hey, Very nice ultimate from the Velkaz, but it's not gonna be enough. It gets interrupted by the Nautilus before it gets the... Barely doesn't kill the Vayne. Velkaz basically just 1v5 and almost got a quadra kill. 
That was incredibly close and a, and a very, very nice clutch and probably unexpected save on that Nautilus's part. Yeah, no, that Nautilus, if he did not get that, like, auto tag passive off, then water kill, instant. Riven can finish off any kills with a winch slash. Hey, Chaos Rain 77 hey, man. I, I don't remember where you're from. I don't know if you're a high level streamer or what, but I did see you today, actually, on the, uh... Like the random like ga people's games thing. I don't know if it was an AM or a ranked, but I saw your name actually, and it seems oddly familiar. Banshee was just there. So uh, hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for talking, man. And you're right. Banshee will be a good a good against Thorna. I mean, or you can go that infamous Spear Visage, Bloodthirster, Blader, and King for extra life steal. Hey, Zeke's Herald is never a bad pick when you have a uh, AD comps like this. Never It'll benefit a lot of people. Zeke's Herald is an incredibly underrated item, to be honest. It is. I like that passive life steal. 10% life steal has an incredible scale in the late game, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, we're at the point of the game where both teams have over 60,000 gold. <laughs> Vayne just tumbling in for that one poke there, saying no. No, <laughs> no you're not no. backing. <laughs> um, but we're at the point where both teams have over 60,000 gold, and this is basically a point where the gold differences really don't mean anything. Both teams are so powerful and so strong that even the minimalness, minimal difference of one item is hardly going to change the impact of a team fight. Oh, that was landing the knockup, but we're seeing a knockup from the... That's goes over to the wall. Ribbon deck charge through. from the, the Nautilus going straight yeah. over the wall to the Belkaz, uh, which well actually played. helped the the Yasuo ult right onto him to interrupt the laser. It wouldn't. It didn't seem like he was actually maneuvering it well enough to kill the Vayne, even so, but immediately taking him out with no hesitation as well. Uh, we're seeing... Team's pretty slid up here. That was a lot of deaths. I didn't even realize the Morgana and Riven died from that. What even happened? Red team's pinging Baron, but Baron is enough for now. Three minutes. That was just a well-played team fight, and it just, they can't really capitalize on it. They instead of going mid and pushing, they decide to stop bot lane and just do nothing. Yeah, so it's just gonna take on Red the team is tank. just uh, tired of losing. Oh, Volibear! Bear. They're just uh, going right down the mid lane, going to take this tower, try to get what they can. Volibear almost getting the Yasuo, in, in fact, but it's not gonna be enough. He does get those Qs landed, which don't I don't believe apply Thormail. It would make sense, but I would. They know. do. They do apply Thormail. It's okay, an auto attack. Okay. I wasn't gonna be. I wasn't gonna say that too confidently. So there we go. So you know that much more at least, but still landing that Q, getting some damage in. Um, there we go. He doesn't at least have his shield built into his kit, so we'll suppress some of the damage, but... Yeah, but shield did get nerfed recently, it did. so... It was like a bomb in the game, and then like nerf later. Or maybe yeah. in reverse, I can't remember, but something like that. Yeah, I remember that. You need to like, pull some like, Riot Freak, like, runs out. Oh, I, I have a list of puns I'm saving for the tournament. Are you actually serious? Yes, I'm 100% I'm serious. No way. <laughs> Can't believe you. I'm done with you right now. I'm gonna, I, I might pull out some puns right now if I can get one. I don't know any puns, I'm not Riot Freak. Well, Freak's just amazing. He, he gets paid by Riot just to be like the goofiest person ever known, man. <laughs> Tons of damage. Oh, right score pop by Nautilus. He's gonna go in with the Oh. Spell shield. What's this Q called? Dredge line. Okay. Uh no. His Q is called the hook. <laughs> the hook! <laughs> oh sorry, my bad. Yeah, duh. I'm not up to uh, commentating terms right now. Sorry. Yeah, I suppose split pushing top and actually getting That's the free tower from it. That, yeah, that is a massive wave. I couldn't even see it actually because Yasuo's icon was covering most of it. Uh, I think that's what the enemy team, was, uh, anything, the enemy team was experiencing as well right there. Um, <laughs> like that, that's a huge minion. Whoa, what? What? Looks like red team's opting out of this thing, uh, thinking that it's dangerous. Uh, wanting to go for that dragon, I think at this point. Baron's up in 20 Smart seconds. Decision. Yeah, Baron up in 20 seconds. Red team does not have the timer on it, but they do have a word on it now. Does. No, no, they don't. Yeah, they do have a warrant. This is this is basically gonna be the end game fight right here. For whoever wants this fight. Blue team trying to catch the Nautilus out of all people actually. Uh, I think oh. that was the Belkaz ultimate going off once again. 
getting interrupted immediately. Aeon's just nice getting free auto attacks off, but that shit gets caught off by Vayne with the triple stack. That's a double kill for Vayne. GA popped, Volibear 1v1 the asshole and kills him. Riven coming up through her Guardian Angel, but not. She's actually got so much mobility that she might be able to get away. Oh, Vayne giving no. her up on the kill, going straight to help her team. Might Maybe she's gonna pick up another kill, but nope. Uh, Darius just Did taking you? it while he can. Yeah. Good, I told you my team would win. Where did the dragon go? Uh, they took the dragon. Dude, they, they burned it before the fight. Wow. That, yeah. is, uh, that is impressive. I know it's Vayne, but dang, man. That it's Vayne uh, with, like, itemization, though. Damn. I think that's a GG, though. 10 seconds on uh, the bot lane, but that's, that's not really gonna matter. They have a full tank line, and Vayne's final hour is almost up. Yeah, this looks Come like on. it's game. Yep, that's GG. Good. Yeah, blue team was 100%, right? There we go. There we go, yeah. Well, that's Willy's only people. A, Willy's people wins. And that's only a 3k gold like difference right there at the end of the game. Really even game throughout the whole time the whole time. Absolutely. Remind me not to play jungle. It was <laughs> Dang that fight was clean. <laughs> So this Chaos guy is a Diamond 1 Master Rengar only player. Oh my god, Ryan Choi. Look at that. Easy win, easy life. Let's take a look at the damage chart over here. Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> That'll cost 54,000. <gasps> Alright. Um, it's been uh, pretty long games. Not really, yeah. but... um. <laughs> uh, good way to put it, right? Like, it uh, not really. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I mean, only like 45 minutes each. Oh, that, that, well, that actually kind of sucks. When you spectate a game, it doesn't show up in your match history. I wish it really? did. I wish I could see those games still. Yeah. It's kind of lame. Riot, please. Riot, please. Come on, man. Yo, what the hell? Like, is it what? so hard? <sighs> but, um... I mean, they have this top quality stream, but they can't do that. Oh. Yeah, right. But um, you guys, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be stopping the stream now. I've got other things I need to do with the rest of my night. I am in the army. I do have plans and uh, stuff to do with my days. And you know He's what? I'm a person, all right. I, 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 yeah, I do have a lady friend. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll be streaming more tomorrow, more more than likely. I'm gonna try to st just stream more consistently throughout the week until the tournament comes up, just to kind of gradually improve the quality. If I'm not streaming, I'm working on the stream. Trust in that mm. fact. And. Uh, yeah, just look out for my posts. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am Jacob Allen. I am an admin in the group. I have a I'm picture. Or, let me let me correct myself. Jacob Cabracken Allen, because uh, that's that's what I put for my middle name on Facebook. Although it is not my middle name. Um, I, I have a picture of Slow Sonic. Uh, <laughs> as Slow my, uh, Sonic. <laughs> as my profile picture. Look for me. I look for. I love you guys. Right. I love you guys. Sorry, right, don't and, show um, me up. Wow. And. Wow. Uh, I'll be, I'll be posting a lot, and if you're in the tournament, by all means, I've actually thought it would be interesting to uh, to try to get some teams together and do some scrims, and then just have some like prep games where we can shoutcast those instead of community games, as a matter, as a matter of fact. So, uh, if you guys would be interested in seeing that, and if you're in the tournament, by all means, lend me your ears, message us, tell us something, because I think it would be a good experience just to add to the tournament experience even beyond the rewards. Um, and yes, my partner, the uh, auditioning shoutcaster, which I'm pretty approved of right now. I approve right now pr pr of uh, so far. Thus far, Jeez. I approve. Uh, that would be um, uh, um, uh, Camille Spychala. Hell yeah, it's me. Spych, Spychala, Spychala. Yeah, Camille. That's right. Camille uh, Willie. He'll be streaming with us when uh, we get to the tournament games towards the 16th. Uh, you know, we're all on this periodic schedule where we're, you know, we have schedules. You know, so I have a job, some people don't. I do. Some people sleep, some do. <laughs> I mean, you know, we all have our own lives and that's something you gotta respect. So, we'll be, um, uh, you know, just, just having a blast. And uh, he'll be one of the guys with us along with RudyJ2012 and uh, Thick2G on and off as well. Uh, if you're interested in shoutcasting, uh, just lend me a message. Send, uh... Send me a message on uh, on League people. I'll, I'll drop. Or, well, 
I'll, never mind, not leak people, I'm, I'm misboarding myself. Um, I'll drop my uh, my Facebook in the links, in the, the Twitch chat there. Uh, send me a message if you're interested in shoutcasting or helping with the stream, because we could use more broadcasters as well if you have good quality internet, and you can uh, kind of assist in that as well, because currently the only broadcasters are myself and uh, Thick2G, and I'd like to have at least one more reliable broadcaster, so. Thick2G! But uh, yeah, that, that's about all I got, guys. I'll, I'll stop ranting about the tournament. Look forward to it. Hype. The stream quality is going to be great. This was kind of a little bit of a subtle overview of what I have going so far. This is not great quality, but it will be fucking amazing quality by the time the 16th come, guys. So Fuck look yeah. forward to it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. We're signing out. Peace out, bitches. See ya. Ugh. Is that the stream?